Hi friends and welcome to Mystic Star Magic. I am so happy that you are here with me as we find out what's happening with you this week. Um, before we start, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who's been sending all these beautiful comments and just um, thank you for all of you <laughs> prayed for my little buddy Pooh Bug. I truly, truly appreciate every single one of you. <laughs> it really, really means a lot to me. Um, this is like one of the reasons why I love having like this channel and doing pick cards is because I get to meet like a lot of you and um you know and, and you become a friend especially for somebody who's an introvert like me uh this is a big thing <laughs> so I appreciate every single one of you thank you thank you thank you so much um and it, uh, yeah but I continue on um so I'm still a little bit we're still doing stuff with my little poo bug so if I'm not putting up as much content um, please bear with me. I truly am sorry about that. Um, but little by little we'll get there. That's what I say. So these are the cards for this week. Um, I want you to look at them. You get to see them really good. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and inhale. Close your eyes. Now as we exhale. And open your eyes. Choose whichever pile draws you to it. All right, let's do it. Hello. So let me show you which decks I'm using. This is for this reading, The Sacred Forest by Denise Lane. This is by The Love and Crystals. This is her Lavender Dreams and her Feelings in Bloom. And they go great together if I've ever, like, they're the best blended oracle. Then we have The Whispering of the Woods. This is a wood theme as you can tell this is my um healing nature's healing oracle this is the light seer tarot and of course the postcard from spirit so those are the oracles all right let's get to our reading hello group one i am so excited you are here with me oh my goodness i love this card one uh, <laughs> i mean i actually really like this deck and all the cards in it but there's just something so playful about this right but i look i i want you to see what like this is the energy for your overall like overall energy for this week i want you to see what this is we have some transformation happening we also have like a shooting star which to me seems like there's um, maybe a wish coming through, like fulfillment coming through, or maybe just just that you're wishing for things. And it's for me, it's like, yes, it is being processed. Maybe it won't happen this week, but it's on its way to you. I do like this a lot. Um, I do want you to see that you are definitely being guarded and taken care of, protected from all around by these beautiful um, elves or fairies for me. Um, and you kind of stand here. I love how this this... In with the dress here just kind of makes me in the water just lets me think of like the third eye chakra and also maybe crown chakra but mostly third eye and I can just see that there's a sense of clarity coming um, for you and that's why this star is come finally shooting um, coming towards you now there's this I do like the, and the water being still here it's like you are you are good you are in a sense of your emotions are in harmony is what I'm seeing here. So I do like this a lot. Um, and if you want to look at the, the or like the which decks I use, I it's in the timestamp. <laughs> this is by Be Love and Crystal. And this is the um, Lavender Dreams. So vacation time for reflection and happy distractions. Needing a break from daily routines. And this is actually, look at this. Look how perfect that is. Right? This is perfect because it is a time for reflection and happy distractions. And I feel like you, you are going through here. This is, um, and, and I want you to see something here. For me, this is like a sense of almost like solitude here. Um, but for me here, look look at you are being surrounded by all these, like, maybe it's not people, but it definitely is um, spirit guides around you. So I do like that a lot. So look look at all these beautiful things. I'm creative. I write my own story. So you have a lot of creativity coming through here. This is and maybe like, um, I don't know, that red is really calling for me. And I usually would say, like, that's the... Um, base chakra but for me this is more like romance excitement coming through here so i do like that as well 
maybe a, a sense of playfulness in, in, in terms of maybe dating and having fun with love, um, but also maybe taking a break. And just really the focus is all about playfulness. Let's see what the tarot has for us. So we have two of cups. Okay, that makes sense, right? And here we have two two um, flowers here and they're both red. So it could be that love is coming or traction, um, some sort of blending. Um, you know, I, sometimes I say to the, you know, the divine feminine, divine masculine, but it seems like to me it's more like connection. Um, so it could be romantic. It feels romantic, especially with these flowers. But uh, <laughs> since it's general reading, it's like I also feel like it's also just kind of connecting to this, to your, to your, um, to your beautiful um, support, like your spirit guides. Um, they're connecting and creating this magic. Oh, I like it. We also have the King of Swords. Okay, for, so for some of you, <laughs> wait, this is uh, coming through here. We have um, possibly an older person coming. Um, somebody who's very logical, very... Um, and this one, I want to say, kind of intense and almost a rebel. Um, now I don't usually read the King of Swords as a rebel, <laughs> but this feels like that, um, a little older, a little, but it just feels like, ooh, like the intensity from this particular, um, King of Swords is ooh, quite attractive too. <laughs> it's like, oh, so, so for some of you, this is connecting to this person, um, somebody like this for others of you let's read more oh no it's okay so tower. <laughs> oh the tower yeah don't worry i've been going through something like that <laughs> i get you i feel that and the butterflies come here again so there is a sense of playfulness with this transformation as well so i feel like when this tower happens whether it's like you know like this tower moment happening now or if it has happened and you're still in like you're just here <laughs> You're the squirrel and you're like, whoa, what's happening, right? Um, it has already happened, but it's still like the awe of like you're like reacting to it. Um, so this could be you, right? This this could be a sense of you trying to like take it all in. Um, and again, there is a sense of like clarity coming through here with this playfulness. Um, but... Whew. This is interesting because <laughs> I'm like, yes, this feels you and this is you going, trying to figure things out in a, in a very like practical manner. So how does, like, what do I need to do next is that kind of energy. For some of you, it just, like, I feel like maybe you meet somebody who, who is this tower moment or somebody, you know, leaves your, I just thought of somebody. <laughs> I wonder if she'll pick this deck. Um if this connection is like this tower moment and this is this person um they visit you in your dreams wow like this oof, this energy i can't even i can't even whew, that's intense um and then yeah so this is like love still uniting um so if it's for for some of you who this is no longer you know you are no longer you're kind of in separation because of this tower is what i'm seeing there's still like the energy is still being exchanged this energy is still being like even if you're not there that the dreams come um there's still this energy of being united whether even if you're in separation which is funny um and then we have the seven of pentacles here so we're slowly working our way we're sort of so maybe this playfulness and this vacation is like you've been doing things it's i i feel like you know like you've been putting your efforts and growing little doing all these seeds that you've planted and you're starting to watch it grow um but it is also like a reminder that you might need a little break like not to like this is great it feels like this is like reiki energy going into the plant but also like um, sometimes to just not focus so much on it. I almost, this is weird because it's almost like this tree that you've been working on somehow also has this tower because it seems like a tree that has been struck by lightning. Hmm, it's an interesting connection of those. What else do we want to look at? Because this is a, a very intense, interesting week for you. 
Um, because I, for some of you, it just feels like, so, so maybe this connection that even though you're separated, you're still working on it. And I feel like universe is saying, Hey, you know what? Take a, take, take a time away from that or from, so maybe it's a, a connection. Maybe whatever it is that you're so focused on right now, it's like the universe is saying like, release some of it, like not focus in it as much. Um, and then kind of, that's why it's like playfulness instead of creating, um, because I feel like universe is saying that things are going to work out. Like there's like a flow here that you don't have to be constantly, you know, focus on, on this, but doing other things. And I think that's how it flows out more. Um, when do we have inhale? Oh, look at this. That's the lavender. This is my um, nature's healing. So here is all about, yeah, taking a deep breath in. Savoring the moment is what I'm seeing here. It's like if you actually... I don't know if whenever you're having like uh, like intense emotions, like this tower moment, or when you're having like um, anxiety, we are, our sh our breath becomes very shallow. Um, so so taking a deep breath in actually can totally shift your your um, it changes your physiological and also changes your mental state as well because of that. Um, and for some of you that you do need, especially with this tower energy, maybe breathing in some um, lavender might be a good idea just to bring in more um, relaxation. That's what I'm hearing here. Um, and advice for this week is clearing, make room for growth. And that is something that with this tower, tower always does make room for growth. And the NAC like here, it's actually a we're growing. <laughs> You're growing on a different, like in different manners here. So it's actually quite interesting um, because you're, so we're, you know, that's, I guess that's what I'm seeing here. This tree, because these two trees are kind of connected. So maybe with, without this tree being brought down, you couldn't have this other tree here. I don't know. I just, it feels like there's a, a, re, a re, rejuvenation or no, a regeneration is what I want to say. So yeah, very, very cool. All right. <laughs> I realize I don't have my charms nearby. So we're going to not have charms this week, but I do have something that I, I'm like quite excited about. Um, and that's the postcards from Spirit. So this is a particular thing. This is what I always use when I'm ending uh, a personal reading. It's just, I, I read whatever other stuff, you know, like I read all my, um, cause I love to use oracles and I use the tower and other things. But well, I always end it with one particular postcard because I feel like that's a very direct message. And, and this is something that you need to hear right now. So I send it this way because that's how I need it. I, I've been needing uh, messages from Spirit lately too. So I figure you might need as well. Let's see what we have, Spirit. What messages do you have? What message do you have for the collective group one? I need to hear right now. Okay. And it says, you are magical. Oh, I love this. And you have the mermaid. Okay. So, dear you, you are in such a good shape right now that we're all doing a happy dance. In this moment, you have the power to make a choice to get with spirit and co-create. This is the co-creating with spirit. Um, co-create with co-create a miracle you may wonder where this is all going but if you want to manifest your desires for the highest good you need to stay focused on the now okay yeah that's what we were thinking all the power is in the present moment ask yourself what are you do dominating thoughts now what beliefs are you motivated by do you have clarity right now how is your conscious contact with the divine are you plugged in or are you trying to do life all by your small self get rid of the negative energy now resentments be gone forgiveness and love enter please you can do your life beautifully and create your most powerful future right here right now in this moment aren't you thrilled that to know that you have a huge sharing section over here and this is a perfect message for everything that we have here because this is what they're saying that you plant the seeds and you're letting them grow now and the inhale like i said really savor the moment that you have right now and then this king of swords energy can be that clarity and we might forgiving this tower moment whatever that was well i thank you so much for being here group one i hope you liked this reading and if you did please do consider commenting liking and subscribing 
it really really means a lot to me and it helps my channel grow which is something i really do want and i'm hoping to get <laughs> it's one of my big goals too so i just want to say thank you so much for being here thank you so much for for sharing your energy sharing of course your time and quite splendidly thank you for sharing your journey with me i mean we're in this together and i and i love that we are i'm sending you so much love and so much light my dear friends until i see you in the next one Bye bye hello group two i am so happy that you are here with me as we find out what's happening with you this week okay and i love this you sure this is actually a, one of my newer favorite um oracles that i'm enjoying a lot that's the sacred forest oracle so we have the fairy here we have stability um and earth spirit so earth spirit just interesting that the fa fairy is being the earth spirit and we also have two swans so maybe it has something to do with grace or twin flames coming through um 14 or which equals to five five is actually i think this makes sense it's sort of like maybe hitting a bump on the road and then um reevaluating things and so i do see that you have a lot of um butterflies here so there's an energy of transformation and it almost feels like this is like you need to kind of stop and take a breather which is sort of a little similar to group one and a message but I, what i'm just seeing is the overall um, energy is that we kind of this week we need to ground ourselves a little bit to slow down and ground ourselves um what else do i want to say about this yeah i almost feel like the hands are open it's like uh, allowing the change to occur, occur naturally um or just for things to come to us not having to put all the effort but waiting grounding ourselves and then watching as how like i want to say magic unfolds beyond you know in front of us um so yeah i do like this one so let's see if there's any kind of that energy coming through and this is feelings in bloom by b love and crystal and my favorite deck so resourceful i know my purpose yeah um and again it sort of feels like like there we have bees so being active being like working on things okay and it does feel like that's a very earth spirit energy and we also have excluded i need to belong so what i'm seeing here <laughs> is that we have like this energy of hmm now I want to show you this. This is two bees collaborating together. So I feel like that's the resourceful thing coming here. Um, when you're a part of this, and I also feel like, but here you have, you do feel like you're a bit excluded here. Like this energy feels excluded. Like they're all by yourself, which is not a bad thing because I feel like, like I said, I feel like things are coming towards you. Like maybe these are your friends or, or those are... Um, yeah, just I just feel like there's an energy that is coming here. Oh, for sometimes and butterflies can be angels, so they could also be angels that are around you. Um, so not you know maybe taking time time out to be by yourself to have this sense of grounding, but then also coming forward and and accepting help or at least this collaboration that's being offered. So I do like that. Let's see what the tarot has for us we have the ace of wands beautiful we have the lovers uh-huh interesting eight of wands and we have the ten of cups wow look at this beautiful energy there's a lot of like this is a lot of um wand energy because that's a, a big one so ace of wands creativity coming here like that now this is interesting because to me the lovers yes it could be that love and it's saying don't exclude yourself don't don't like um don't put up all those defenses up but rather remain with your hands open um over here uh and then love and and all your prayers are coming through um will come true and here we have the two beats so maybe for some of you meeting somebody that you like at work or where you are doing something where it, both work in the same thing so that's a possibility um and if so there's like an instant connection an instant attraction here with this ace of wands and the eight of wands as well so fast coming together and ten of cups is like oof. 
it's like almost like you feel like you've known each other. So for some of you, that is that. But for others, it is a sense of... Um, I want to say like there's a choice here because there's always well there I just it does feel like a, a lot of fire energy here um so there to me but could be like a choice that's coming with this ace of wands hmm. which I'm going to clarify because I, I would like to like I, I do think that that's definitely could be love coming through here and I'm not going to say that but it's not um, but I would like a little clarification. What is this lover's energy doing here? What is this lover's energy doing here? What's this energy doing here? Four of wands. Oh, wow. Look at that. So there's a lot of wands. Uh, so <laughs> I almost want to feel like you've been feeling very much by yourself and alone. And then some somebody or like somebody comes in. Like it could be a friend. It could be just where you are. Could be like I said, like love, um, but you just feel like there's this sense of, and and the four of wands can also be representing stability. But for me, it's like there's just a sense this week of really letting your creativity and passion kind of roam free. Like don't try to constrict yourself, but just I almost feel like having a lot of fun um, because it's actually going to help you progress a lot faster like we go from ace to the four of wands and then we go to the eight of wands and then we also see that there's going to be a lot of joy coming from from like almost like this feeling of of like passion and creativity so the, the joy connecting um you can see i feel like there is two b's i feel like that's that's the the key here like and there's two people here as well it's like coming together of some kind Oh, and this one is also could be like I, the two one, two swans here, and this is the eleven eleven card too. So, for some of you, maybe um, connecting to that soulmate energy as well. But well, what I really am seeing is the sense of creativity and passion. Whew, it's intense, my friends. So, don't like um, seclude yourself. Don't 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 like exclude yourself and be like I'm not gonna let things in because this week is really all about actually being out there my friends don't 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 kind of hermit mode i understand the hermit mode i'm often in that hermit mode so don't let it become that because i feel like this energy is all about you needing to go out and be out and about um and let this passion and creativity happen because then you have this fulfillment i love that if you're prospering yes oh my goodness i love this such a, I, I like this reading so much because there's so much energy coming. So there's prosperity. Um, and that's kind of from that, again, like creativity. Um, all these creative ideas that you're having are really going to help you prosper. A ten of cups. And let's see what the advice is. Flow. Go with the flow as water trickles down a stream. Do not hurry. Yes. If you actually flow, it uh, makes it things a lot easier <laughs> for you. What I'm saying is, like, if you're going against the current of things, um, things are always going to be tough. They're kind of, you know, like they <laughs> they just are. There's a lot of more bumps in the road versus when you go with the flow. And here I'm seeing the flow not only just in um, allowing things to be, but also the flow of being in the flow. You know, when you're doing something that you love and you just get in that flow, that's sort of what I'm seeing here. So... <laughs> I forgot my um, charms and they're kind of far away. So we're going to do what I wanted to do anyways, which is the postcard from Spirit. And this is how I usually end my personal readings. Um, I love to have like a particular message from Spirit. I've been needing it, so I thought other people might need it too. <laughs> so let's see what Spirit message um, we come through for the collective group too for this week. Okay. Spirit white message that the collective will go to the chair right now. Okay. Okay. So celebrate life. I love this. And you see you do have a lot of angel energy here. So. Dear you, there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. Other times are perfect for taking that leap, no matter how dangerous it might seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings for today is a leap time. Realize that no matter what, we will not let you fall. 
drown, get lost, or hurt yourself in any way on this one. Even if it may feel like you are on a free fall, we are here for you. And you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relaxing to this transition to something new. All the elements are here in place and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you're asking about, it's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you. No matter what happens, you will land softly, right on target. Don't worry about it. The outcome spirits got that covered. It's taking the leap itself that's the point. We love your courage. Embrace it. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love it because it is all this, and we are getting this like spirit is saying, Yeah, you're going to prosper. If you follow that creativity, that ace of wands, you're going to get this ten of cups. And I, I like that we are seeing it all through here. Um, so I hope you like this reading. I hope it's helpful. <laughs> And if you did like this reading, please do consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. It really helps my channel grow. And I really appreciate that because we're aiming to get that 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year so we can have a community tab so we can connect a little bit better. Um, so just, I just want to say absolutely I'm beyond grateful to every single one of you. Thank you so much for sharing your time, sharing your energy, and of course sharing your journey with me. We are in this together, my friends. We are in this together. So, <laughs> I am sending you so much love and so much light until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my dear friends. Hello, my dear friends from group three. All right, let's see what you have here. So, you have the maple, maple spirit. Oh, I love this. Generosity. We also have, I feel like... And this is going to be an interesting one So, oh, for some of you. Um, if you're feeling especially financially constricted right now, um, this is the answer. Because this is letting me kind of, it reminds me so much of the first chakra. And sometimes when that's out of balance in terms of like we're worrying about all the prosperity or, or we're feeling the, the crunch and I get it because, you know, things aren't getting more expensive. Um, the answer is generosity. Um, it's, all, it's like the sweetness that comes. Um, so, so the more you give, the more it comes back to you. But not giving out of expectation, but giving from a sense of, you know, and I, it doesn't have to be finances. It could be like, I, what I like to do sometimes is when I, especially when I, I don't have, um, <laughs> let's say, uh, cash flow as, as much as I would like. I like to give prayers. I like to give, um. I don't know I, I do little things for others I'm also a big person that I like to do little like encouraging messages or it could be a smile smiling at somebody that actually I you know sometimes when I'm down and somebody's just smiles at me and then I feel like like that just feels right like I feel like sp spirit is like smiling down at me and saying yes mm, everything is okay and so this is like all about this the generosity is a reminder that giving right also you know you get back but there is a sense of joy in the giving as well so i, I just feel like this tree is flourishing and I, I really like this because it's like for me generosity but it's also prosperity um coming in so many different ways and so many different forms i, I love this mm. okay yeah so especially so if you're feeling constraint financial constraint be generous and in, in, in whichever way you can it could be advice it could be like it doesn't have to be like financial it doesn't have to be like money it just has to be like generosity and it could be the taking the time out to listen to somebody um yeah that 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 seems to me like that's like if somebody's in need just listening to them we don't even have to solve their problems most people don't actually like it when you give them recommendations but just being there and listening that makes a difference Let's see what we have. So angry. I will not combust. So <laughs> we're a little angry. So this is going to be interesting because I'm in like this angry. I will not combust this angry. And it's like, here's this. This is like a dandelion. So I feel like a wish fulfillment not coming through here. It's like something is gone up in flames. Something that you've been wishing for. It just hasn't turned up. Um, and so you're angry. And so... Again, <laughs> hear, hear me out with this one. It feels like, and I have no problem with this. Sometimes I get angry too. Um, actually, I, I get angry often. <laughs> Not, you know, like, 
especially when we're tired and stuff that it can be or like when we want things people to be a certain way anger <laughs> and that's okay so what i'm seeing here with this fire i'm seeing this anger can become something creative so that's what i'm seeing here and i i feel like that that's what i'm here it's not that only that you're not combust but using whatever that energy is giving it to you not like using it to like mm, shift it to, to somebody and try to like you know wish somebody harm no but instead of doing that it's like use that creativity here and i do like this we have balloons so inner child festivities rising above look at that yeah rising above the anger um stress depression okay and yeah so you can have that all of that if you're feeling stressed if you're feeling depressed if you're feeling the pressure here's the answer i know it's like crazy i'm like but the generosity turning the focus some a little bit away from uh, the problems of life and just kind of getting here and really focusing on the beauty of the the things that are already here because you wouldn't think a tree does but like this tree houses and like not only do we get delicious maple syrup from it but it houses is a house for for birds for squirrels it, it it gives shade it provides a whole a whole bunch of different things and you wouldn't think it's like it's just a tree but that's you i really feel like you don't give yourself enough credit you you give so much and you you just don't are aware of all the different things that you do and so here we have this where you're like this wish fulfillment didn't happen um i always think when when wishes don't come true in a certain way when we, when things aren't that way it's because something better is coming your way and i do feel like that energy is better used in creative manners and here if we're having the stress and depression which you know, i understand especially like i said if you're feeling that crunch of finances which i am <laughs> like i'm there with you my friends um it is almost like it, it's well oh my goodness for some of you okay so so for some of you if you can well i don't know how you feel about it um actually like putting your worry in and then filling it up and letting it go uh, i don't know if you know like oh bad for environment totally get it um so then writing it down and then maybe burning it <laughs> in a safe way though don't don't please don't burn down anything you know just like put it in a safe area maybe in the sink where you can put water if anything happens like very safe area so burning away your worries burning away this depression like all the stress like i i i've been going through a lot of stress myself um and it does lead to kind of feeling depressed totally feel you um on that so what i've been trying to do is i've been trying to like actually um write out what i'm worried about what's causing the stress and like i know what it is i should like it's obvious but i still like write it out and i and i really try to like get at the bottom of things right and then understand it and face it right if you're angry um if i'm angry about something i i look at it and usually almost um anger and most things come from us come from fear or or wanting uh things to be different so that's a lot of talking <laughs> i don't know if showing you okay four of cups yeah it's right there it's actually telling us wow <laughs> i love this i love this because i went in on and on and on but it's actually telling us right here yeah so you're feeling like so this is that depressed depressed um stressed and, and things so you have this four of cups and what i'm seeing here is the universe is like look we're filling your cup we're filling it but you're not looking at it um you're just kind of here you're feeling i almost want to say you're kind of feeling sorry for yourself but look there's another tree right behind here that's all i i just feel like wow so much earth energy coming through here like look even in there um wow i didn't even notice there was a hand here but yeah so actually like you have a helping hand somebody's gonna help you but you're not focused on it so i think you know the spirit's telling us yeah look you have it i feel like they that wish that 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 seems like it's not coming true it is you're just not noticing it because you were expecting a certain way we have the three of wands and we're getting ready we're getting ready to move forward we're planning our um motion forward yeah i'm <laughs> sorry i'm just like looking i'm like yeah that makes sense um and i 
do like this Wheel of Fortune. So I want you to see this. Things are turning around for you. Um, yeah, I think there's like a lot of, like I said, there's just generosity, but also like prosperity coming. Um, and so I feel like things are turning around. You just kind of, it's weird because I normally say like, you know, focus on the now. And I think that's true here, but it's also focusing on your future of all the different things. And I, and I like this page of cups energy because it is like, this is more of the inner child festivities and rising above. Look, this person is actually rising above. Like, literally. <laughs> and we have another, like, here. This little guy. Like, that's a little cup here coming through as well. Um, I almost feel like for some of you, this is... This is you. Actually, this is your energy here. Um, so be lighthearted. I feel like your, your, your spirit is saying to come up, fly. Even if it feels like when pigs fly, it's like, yep, here, the pigs are flying. So this wish is coming through for you um i do like this this is very nice so you go from four of cups to a page of cups that's a lot of evolution in this week there's a lot of progress with the wheel coming so when the wheel comes since this is a major arcana it's letting us know that we kind of don't have control so much over it um but i do feel like we do have to notice it there's a shift coming all right let's see what other <laughs> things are coming we have enlivened yes don't be don't be this this it feels self-pity and having like apathy no it's enlivened times are things are coming there's a, a sense of creativity a sense of fun um let's see what your advice is so the journey branch out to new worlds wow and then you are you're getting ready with the three of wands so this new world is, is telling us that we can let go of this three cups that are empty and focus more on this ace of cups right there because that's a totally ace of cups the, the four that's uh, coming our way i love this you i love this really <laughs> all right so i kind of I have forgot my charms and they're kind of far away. So we're just going to do what I wanted to do, which is the postcards from Spirit. Um, and this is how I usually like to end my personal readings anyways. Um, this very specific message and postcard. Um, that usually kind of sums up stuff or tells us different things that we need to focus on. So what message from Spirit actually what message do you have for the collective of group three that they need to hear right now oh i like this one unlock your magic and look at that the key so the key is here so dearest you going the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting in some overtime will reap you big rewards now is the time and that's kind of maybe generosity now is the time for you to act to stir up some energy and liven um, and put those plans <laughs> um, into action. So there are many windows of opportunities that are open, but close quickly when you don't take the risk and go for it. Today, be confident that your hard work will pay off and you'll feel that satisfaction and fulfillment of reaching your desired outcome. It might turn out even better than you expected. Isn't that amazing? Remember, however, much work you're willing to put in, we will match it tenfold on our end. Everyone over here is rooting for you to win this game of life. So just do it. Loving you so, so very much. Oh, I love it because it's exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> love 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 and then so it's this generosity that i'm talking about it's like generosity in whatever way is going to come back and be prosperity for you in that way and, I, and the universe is saying that we're taking care of it my friend and so i really hope you like this reading and if you did please do consider commenting liking and subscribing it really helps my channel grow and i do have the goal of reaching 1000 subscribers by the end of the year so that we can have a community tab yay that would be so cool <laughs> um but just thank you so much for being here thank you so much for sharing your time your energy and of course your journey we are in this together my friend <laughs> and i'm glad because it, sometimes we i i need it and i'm sure you do too so i'm sending you so much love so much light and until i see you in the next one my dear friend have a super wonderful day Bye bye